Did you know if you drop a like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds, nothing will happen but it will put a giant smile on my face. Believe it or not, Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2 is a lot closer than anybody would have thought, with this being nearly 60% way complete of Season 1 of this third chapter, and it seeming like yesterday, since we washed up onto the island after the downtime occurred, and obviously the end event in itself, washing us up onto Chapter 3's flip side. And with this being the case, considering we can unlock the foundation now, which was implemented in 19.20 for the mid-season update, meaning, well, the focus has shifted now to how this season's going to be ending, and ultimately what is going to be the progression into the next season and beyond of this chapter. I figured in today's video we'd cover all of that and most specifically how this is going to then be reflected throughout the battle pass based off what's going to be happening in terms of the map changes, the storyline developments and so much more and believe it or not we already have a look at potentially all of the battle pass skins so make sure you stay in tune for that, stick around and of course watch the full video. And whilst you're kicking it back doing that perhaps with your favourite snacks, do me one favour please the next time you log into Fortnite and enter code FM1 inside of the item shop. I challenge you all right now try and make this process last longer than 10 seconds and if it it does, don't enter it, that's how confident I am. Entering code FM1 not only puts a giant smile on my face, but cheers my pug up Gus too as he's been kind of sad recently, from not only discovering that yes, he looks like a baby clombo, but on top of the fact he's found out 70% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed to the channel, and speaking of subscribing, we've just recently surpassed 2.3 million, you guys have been killing it lately, so everybody who hasn't clicked the big red button, click it. And of course, after all, this can only benefit you considering I also give 5 subscribers every single day, so if you want to receive a gift off me, simply make sure you're subscribing to the channel with all notifications turned on and then comment your epic games id down below and let me know what you like to receive so perhaps in the next video you could be gifted on screen in front of hundreds of thousands of eyes to see but with that said now enough messing around considering the leaks are pouring out by the day to do with chapter 3 season 2 we need to go over all the details so make sure of course you don't go anywhere don't go anywhere not i'm sitting on my don't back go anywhere. okay so to start out with said details firstly we need to reflect on how chapter 3 has started thus far for the first season of it as you guys know the map started out looking like this with the snow then regressing, revealing not only in 19.10 Tilted Towers and the Devourer Landmark, but now in 19.20 Covert Cavern. Initially it was planned, as you can see on screen right now, published by Hypex a while ago, toward the start of the season more so anyways, that the snow would be entirely melted off the Chapter 3 island, which has been reverted in terms of a decision by Epic Games after the community crying out that we want some snow to stay on the map, of which we're supposed to stop at this sixth stage on here, but as you can see it's gone a little bit further back of where it's going to be staying now for at least this season anyways instead of going all the way to the ninth stage which would have looked like this once all the snow melted that data miners and leakers have managed to basically pull out of the files early and with the community having influence with this it's not entirely the main factor as to why epic games will have stopped the regression of snow or melting entirely off the island to not only keep a nice balance of three biomes being desert greenery and now the snowy area but as you guys know dr sloan and the imagined order are heavily involved in the storyline and ultimately going to be affecting well directly the theme of the next season. And yeah, with Dr. Sloan's winter form being the January crew pack, it's safe to say, with the codename for her being Frozen Traitor, her plans haven't changed to oppose the Seven and basically make sure they're eliminated or wiped out in terms of what they've got planned, considering there's actual Imagine voice recordings order. of the scientists kind of declaring that one of the rocket tests was destroyed or kind of overthrown by the Imagined Order. And speaking of the rocket tests, of course, yes, this has been another map change ongoing in the background that many of you may not have seen if you haven't landed at the Sanctuary or any of the seven outposts kind of areas on the water's edge of this name location as the rockets have been appearing and then disappearing frequently with the silo doors for each hatch opening. And with this conflict between the IO and the Seven being a forefront of the storyline now, let's just say it's going to be more established even throughout the Battle Pass and the theme of the next Battle Pass trailer itself, kind of like we had in Chapter 2 Season 2 with Ghost vs Shadow. Supposedly in the community and by data miners, it's been leaked that there's going to be some form of reality war theme for this next season. I guess we could have seen this coming considering Epic Games seem to be doing the same theme of the next chapter season but linking it to the prior one, for instance what happened in chapter 1 season 4 with the superheroes and villains theme and then this of course reflected in chapter 2 season 4 but with actual Marvel characters. And the reason this was worth mentioning before we go over the Battle Pass cosmetics and what skins we actually know could be upcoming contained throughout it and the amount of outfits that we're going to be seeing in this. For those wondering why I've been mentioning about chapter 3 season 1 is because of course with everything that's already gone on the winter 
Winterfest event and all the map changes and even the lore development so far, it's safe to say Epic Games won't be delaying this season past its end date, as you can see on the Battle Pass right now or menu, to be March 19th, 2022, as yet. They're literally fitting everything in in a timely manner. And with them not only working on the next update being 19.30, but also 19.40, which potentially could be the second to last update of Chapter 3 Season 1, believe it or not, Epic Games are even further ahead than just this season in terms of what they've got upcoming or plan to have upcoming, not only in terms of content that they wish to add in Chapter 3 Season 2, but the updates that specifically all of that content is going to be coming in. As Fire Monkey has stated right here, the Epic Games plan to release five updates throughout the duration of Chapter 3 Season 2 as a whole. This doesn't include hot fixes and small map changes or tweaks that could be progressive in-game. These are the main downtime updates that, yes, Fortnite announced over on their Twitter. And make sure to go and follow mine in the video description down below. Speaking of Twitter, considering we've been giving away a ton of V-Bucks as of recently. And again, just before we hop onto the Battle Pass skins or outfits that specifically are going to be contained throughout the Chapter 3 Season 2 Battle Pass, with everything being scheduled as previously mentioned or just stated about in terms of updates and the content that's planned to be added, that of course then means that Epic Games already know or have planned ready to go live basically all the developments and even then the live event itself to ultimately end off Chapter 3 Season 1, which I'm guessing is going to be like most of the prior seasons where the live event occurs, and then we go straight into downtime for a set amount of hours with a screen like this, stating when the next season is going to be live, like we saw from Chapter 2 Season 8 going into Chapter 3. And without us knowing too many definite facts about the live event in itself, we do have a lot of hints around the map suggesting that not only is there going to be a final showdown V2 with the appearance of the Devourer name location, which as you can see is the remains of the Polar Pete monster that was skewered through the head in the first final showdown, but also the Mecha Team Leader arm that was ripped off by this initial Devourer that was skewered through the head, but before this happened in the final showdown in Chapter 1 Season 9. And with another member of the Seven being the Paradigm, rumoured to be another snapshot version of the Singularity that actually manned the Mecha Team Leader to defeat the Polar Pete monster initially in Chapter 1 Season 9, with also another volcano-like name location being the Daily Bugle currently, but when this collaboration ends at the end of the season to do with Spider-Man, who's to say then, or even before then, this doesn't get turned into something like Pressure Plant, where the Mecha Team Leader robot was initially made or manufactured, and of course all of this being in preparation then to defeat another Devourer monster, considering in the files data miners have not only found with the implementation of the Devoured name location, that there is a Catus Cave being codenamed for the Devourer in itself, but also that there's distant groans implying that there's another contained underneath the island, which as you can see on screen right now, Ferozzi has actually made a cinematic for being on the side of the imagined order, considering if it wasn't already obvious, yes, the paradigm belonging to the Seven would be, I'm guessing, on the side of the Seven. And with this animation being made, despite it looking very realistic in terms of not only what could happen with the storyline, but overall quality, could this particular depth be what's being drilled to at any point of where the drills are actually going in Covert Cavern itself? Perhaps even the biggest drill being the one going directly through the centre of it, down through into the bridge. The bridge, for those that don't know, being in the middle of the map, kind of the in-between of both sides of the map, the Chapter 2 island, and then the flip side being Chapter 3. Either way, obviously, it's safe to say we're going to be seeing more of these plans or actions revealed for the war that's going to be waged against the Seven and the Imagined Order. And with us already being able to establish this reality war theme of the next season, let's now go over the types of outfits or the actual outfits themselves that could or will be included in the Chapter 3 Season 2 Battle Pass. First of all, for those that haven't visited Covert Cavern, as you guys see right here, it's this character as the boss called Gunner, which was shown initially for the first time to us as a community or players in the end event finale or Chapter 2 Season 8 end event cinematic. It would only make sense like in Chapter 2 Season 2 if there's a war between two factions being a forefront of the season's theme anyways, that he will be one of the skins that we can unlock as one of the larger characters, kind of like Brutus. And speaking of his introduction, who knows, maybe perhaps also we get the other type of IO guard contained in that battle pass, or the original IO guards in themselves too, considering they've never come to the game yet, unlike the Ghost and Shadow henchmen. And then on the flip side of that, no pun intended, but for the opposing faction, believe it or not, we actually have a survey of Epic Games revealing all the unreleased skins, and Epic Games do tend to pluck at skins from these surveys in themselves and then add them. And despite a lot of these looking really cool and having potential just to be random skins throughout any battle pass, from looking at this, I want you guys to try and guess which the more relevant or kind of more likely ones to be added are. Of course, feel free to pause the video too to get a good look at everything, but right now I'm going to explain well why these particular ones at the bottom could be upcoming and especially contained in the next battle pass. For those that don't know, obviously right now we only have four members of the Seven reveal, being the Visitor, the Scientist, the Paradigm, which we currently don't know her location, and then the Foundation being the Leader. But obviously with us knowing that there's seven members of the Seven, not just based off the rockets or the amount that are on this outskirt island ready to launch, but also the name of 
the Seven as a faction in itself. We know there's three remaining members that we currently don't know of, and thanks to the Sanctuary being introduced as a named location with these statues with different carvings on representing each individual member, data miners have managed to go into the files and find out what the names are of all three remaining members, being not only the sisters, which the Foundation actually referenced in the Chapter 2 Season 6 cinematic trailer, before the Zero Crisis finale event that we actually interacted with, and then of course more interestingly that might outrank the Foundation in terms of the Seven perhaps being the founder instead of the leader, being called the Origin, which implies, well, he originated the Seven in itself. And if we take a closer look at some of the specific skins on this survey, as you can see on screen right now, we not only have a Seven looking skin with a mask on an off selectable style, which obviously could be the Origin, but then two looking very similar that could obviously fit the criteria or style of the Seven in terms of the attire or apparel that they wear being the two sisters. And let's just say if all the skins so far that we've covered are to come to the next battle pass, considering there's usually seven outfits, this only then, well, leaves one mystery one, which could be the secret skin that we don't currently know of in terms of the identity or what type of skin Fortnite are going to introduce for this for Chapter 3 Season 2. And yes, of course, it could literally be any of the skins on here, so feel free to get a good look at these, as I'm guessing we're going to be seeing other skins off of here appear not only in the Fortnite item shop, but future battle passes to come too. Of course, though, we're going to be getting more clarity off of this based off what's added into the game's coding in the future updates or the final updates of Chapter 3 Season 1, so to make sure you don't miss any videos on those, slap a like on today's video if you enjoyed it and want to keep referring back to it, and subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on so that you don't miss those future uploads. Speaking of other videos, however, or your next destination, make sure to interact with anything on screen right now, but most importantly, hopefully I can catch you, yes you the individual still watching, I can see you, but hopefully in the very next video I do post on the channel.